Even though America's past only dates back for three or four hundred years or so, that doesn't mean there aren't some creepy, possibly haunted places out there. As the United States began to experience a gold rush in the 1850s, towns would pop up and get abandoned once the resource that they were looking for became depleted. Other towns might still have people living there, but due to a few with a haunting past, they may never seem to be able to escape the ghosts. From a town with a massive cemetery right next to an abandoned mental hospital, to a place that even the Pope won't fly over, here are 13 Most Haunted American Towns. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to American Eye. If you haven't been here before, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Number 13. Williamsburg, Virginia It shouldn't come as a huge surprise that Williamsburg makes our list today. It was the United States' first capital, which means it's been around long enough to allow the ghosts to settle in. It's been around since 1632, and if you're a ghost hunter, this place should definitely be on your list. Even though the Rockefellers restored it a little bit, it still holds on to spooky vibes. Many ghost stories seem to come from this town, and this was the first place in the country with a mental hospital. The Payne Randolph House has been described as the most haunted place on the East Coast. It seemed to have some kind of curse for whoever moved in there. Number 12. Savannah, Georgia some feel as though Savannah, Georgia is possibly the most haunted town in the United States due to some troubling things that happened in its past. It's been home to famines, wars, natural disasters, disease, outbreaks, and so on. Many of the old haunted houses are found in the historic district, and a lot of the old mansions have some startling stories. The historic districts, such as Calhoun Square, have some eerie-looking trees where ghosts have been sighted. Madison Square is also considered to be haunted and was the area where some fighting took place between the Americans and the British during the Revolutionary War. The most haunted place in Georgia could likely be the Moon River Brewing Pub, which has been home to sightings since the early 1800s. There's also something just downright creepy about the St. Bonaventure Cemetery. Number 11. Terlingua, Texas Located in the most sparsely populated county in Texas, this might be one of the harder places to visit, especially if you don't like snakes or the hot desert sun bearing down on you. Living here is almost like living in the wild, wild west. People who do manage to make it out here are the ones who are tough enough to survive off the grid. The discovery of what's known as Cinnabar here in the 1880s brought miners to the area who create a bustling city of 2,000 people. Cinnabar is what mercury is extracted from, which we all know is a toxic substance. But nonetheless, miners need mercury to purify gold and for other reasons. It only has a total population of 58 people and is home to many abandoned brick buildings that are unique to look at. Some people believe the town receives low-frequency sound raves, which can cause people to hallucinate or deteriorate their mental health. Number 10. Virginia City Another abandoned mining town in Nevada, Virginia City gets a reputation for being one of the most haunted ghost towns in the U.S., and rightfully so. This historic city is not too far away from Reno, Nevada, and was certainly one of the more prosperous ghost towns on this list. There are several different places in Virginia City that are known for some paranormal sightings. After a huge silver ore was discovered, settlers flocked to this area to strike it rich. One of the haunted places here is known as the historic Fourth Ward School. It allegedly houses the spirit of a teacher who's still looking for her students. The old Washu Club has some chilling stories as well, which would make you certainly feel a sense of unease. It was a high-status club and a mean place for wealthy inhabitants, but strange things would happen here. An explosion even took place, which fatally wounded 12 people, and their souls are still rumored to linger around here. Ghostly activity has been reported. Number 9. Key West, Florida Key West, Florida might be more of a city, but if you explore the historic downtown portion of Key West, you'll start to get the vibe that you either drank too much or there's ghosts roaming around. Being one of the oldest places in the U.S., it might also be home to pirate ghosts. These people were often persecuted against for looting ships full of rum and their Pastafarian beliefs. It's also home to the world's most haunted doll named Robert, who the owners claim is possessed. The Key West Cemetery has also been home to some notable grave robberies. One of the more macabre love stories took place in this town among a German-born radiologist and also an American-born Cuban woman named Elena Milagro. Other ghost stories of this city include the home of the writer Ernest Hemingway, who might still be haunting his former home. Number 8. Athens Athens, Ohio is a small town located near Ohio University, which has been home to some terrifying ghost stories. Some of those include the haunting of a headless train conductor and even a pagan cult who committed sacrifices. Some claim the original cemeteries of this town form a pentagram, but there isn't a whole lot of evidence to suggest that's true. Many homes are also built within the proximity of a cemetery, which can certainly leave you with a creepy view outside your window. Don't forget about the Haunted Lunatic Asylum, which operated from 1974 until 1993. 
It's notorious for performing many lobotomy procedures, which was an attempt to turn humans into zombies. Those were likely performed here up until the 1950s, and eventually, it seemed like the place needed to be shut down. For such a small town, there's roughly 1,930 people buried at the cemeteries here, mainly at the mental hospitals. Many of the tombs were often vandalized or damaged from weather. Number 7. Salem, Massachusetts Another spooky place along the eastern seaboard is Salem, Massachusetts, which has been historically linked to witches and black magic. This might be the best place to visit in the U.S. during Halloween due to all the haunted attractions. Many of the homes are certainly decorated. This is also home to the notorious Salem Witch Trials that led 16 women and 4 men to receive capital punishment in the 1600s. Residents firmly believe that their spirits still remain here. Several locations have reported supernatural spirits, including the Burying Point. This is the specific burial ground of accused witches and one of the oldest cemeteries in the U.S. And don't forget about the Salem Village Witchcraft Memorial that commemorates the exact location of where the trials took place. Number 6. Gettysburg Home to the biggest battle on American soil, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania is rumored to be haunted by Civil War ghosts who lost their lives during the intense battle. A lot of the town's revenue comes from tourism and giving ghost tours. Many paranormal investigators have reported an unsettling amount of activity near and around the old battlefield. Some of the places on the tours might include a stop at a haunted house that used to be used as a hospital and a field camp. Another one is a strange rock formation known as the Devil's Den. This was used to provide cover to sharpshooters and cannons by Union soldiers. Witnesses have reported hearing the screams of wounded soldiers or the sudden sounds of cannons going off in this area. Number 5. Tonopah, Nevada Being situated pretty far away from any major city in the middle of the desert, Tonopah, Nevada seems to have an eerie vibe for numerous reasons. Once silver was discovered in this area, many European immigrants flocked here with the hope of striking it rich. The city would gain much wealth and bustling saloons and casinos were built to cater to the silver miners. By the time 1920 hit, a large portion of the population decided to pack up and leave, which meant the ghosts were going to move in. There is a large cemetery in this town that sits adjacent to a clown motel that was recently built. Many feel as though the motel and the cemetery make this place one of the most haunted towns in the U.S. Number 4. Nelson, Nevada Another Nevadan city makes our list, this one found a little bit closer to Las Vegas near the Colorado River. In 1775, the Spanish had made it here and called it El Dorado Canyon, who made unbelievable gold discoveries in the area. The Spanish would eventually head out and Civil War deserters would move in and try to make a living striking it rich. It's home to the abandoned Tachati Cup mine, which was home to many accidents. The Native Americans also didn't appreciate the Americans moving in and would engage in an occasional skirmish. It would prove to be one of Nevada's most profitable gold mines, so protecting the land was important. The lawlessness here made it a difficult place to stick around for for too long, and eventually people would pack up and move. It's likely that there's still gold in the hills around here, and the main reason it went abandoned was because other metals took priority during WW2. Number 3. Tombstone, Arizona Just the name alone seems like enough to make it a haunted place. This infamous location is rumored to be haunted by ghosts from the Wild West during late 1800s. Many people lost their lives here from duels and rowdy fights. People still see ghosts of cowboys and their women lingering around the saloons. It's home to the infamous OK Corral, where disputes and duels would tend to take place. Founded in 1879 by a silver prospector, the first mine here was named Tombstone, and the town here was finally established. Some famous residents included Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp. This ghost town is well preserved and is what many would imagine a Wild West town to look like. One of the more haunted places here includes the Birdcage Theater, where an estimated 16 gunfights took place during a short period of time when it was open. Number 2. Villisca, Iowa A part of being the setting of a vicious axe murder, the town really isn't known for too much. The unsolved crime that took place here in 1912 has certainly made it one of the creepiest places in the U.S. without a doubt, and now it's somewhat of a morbid tourist attraction. The creepy stories about the incident have led many to believe that it's still haunted, and the souls of those who lost their lives here have been spotted. The crime was almost horrible enough to make the whole town here haunted, and we're sure anyone who moves in will eventually find out the story behind the axe house. While there's still much speculation on who done it, this one remains a big mystery, and Vliska will forever lose its peaceful reputation. Do you think your town or city is haunted? Let us know where you're from in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number 1. Stoll, Kansas Located in the state of Kansas is where you'll find at least one of the seven gateways to hell. 
although it might sound like an urban legend, there's supposedly a stairway near the ruins of a church that heads directly into the fiery underworld. An article was written by the University of Kansas explaining a wide variety of strange occurrences in the Stoll churchyard. One student who went there claimed to have been grabbed by the arm by an unseen force, while others experienced strange memory loss that they couldn't explain. Legends about the devil popping up around here date back to the 1850s, when the name of the town was actually spelled Skull and not Stoll. In 1995, it was reported that the Pope refused to fly over Kansas because he didn't want to fly over unholy ground, referring to the cemetery. So what did you guys think of that video? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and leave us a suggestion on what you think we should make in the future. We'd like to hear about your thoughts.